Since their creation, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have long been defined by and beloved for their juvenile humor and the bond of brotherhood that they share. But what if all of that was taken away? What if they gave everything, including their lives, in one final attempt to stop the Foot Clan, leaving only one turtle left standing? That is the premise of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin and the topic of today's video. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin is a comic series that ran from 2020 to 2022, consisting of five issues. This series has been getting a ton of attention recently for a number of reasons. It's getting its very own video game adaptation done by Black Forest Games, who you may know from Bubsy, The Wooly Strike Back. I don't know either. The sequel series, The Last Ronin 2 Re-Evolution, is dropping very soon, and your very own Anime Fire is coming out with its own live-action interpretation that is dropping later this year. It is a great time to be a Last Ronin fan, but how did we get here? How did things go so wrong from the Turtles that they went from a ragtag team of four brothers to one lone, isolated, and tortured survivor? The Last Ronin story picks up in New York, circa 2051. Oroku Hiroto has turned the city into his own personal empire. Its citizens live in a fascist, dystopian dictatorship. We find the last Ronin fighting his way through Hiroto's stronghold, battling through waves of cybernetically enhanced ninjas. However, when he finally gets the chance to confront Hiroto, he fails. Without his brothers by his side, he finds his strength lacking, and he gets thrown from the tower, barely surviving. As the story unfolds, flashbacks slowly reveal how the last Ronin lost everything. After Shredder's death at the hands of Master Splinter, his daughter, Oroku Karai, declares war on Master Splinter and the rest of the Hamato clan. After a duel, she's left paralyzed, but not before killing the first of the Ninja Turtles, signaling the start of their downfall. Her son, Oroku, picks up exactly where she left off, and during his rise to power, Master Splinter and two more of the Turtles will fall without their brothers there by their side, leaving only the last Ronin standing. At his lowest point, having just failed to avenge his brothers, April O'Neil and her daughter, Casey Marie, find the last Ronin and show him that there's still something worth fighting for. He discovers that over the years, his mutation has progressed, making him bigger, faster, stronger, Two more adjectives and you'd have a Daft Punk song. Together with April and Casey, he sets out to aid the Resistance in their crusade to save New York City and bring down Oroku once and for all. What follows is an epic story of loss, family, and revenge. I won't spoil it all here, so please go check out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin and be sure to watch The Last Ronin Death Wish here on Anime Fire. Wait. I just realized I never told you guys who the last Ronin is, did I? Well, obviously I don't want to spoil it for you, but if you really, really want to know, I guess I can tell you. Lean in close, I'll whisper it to you. The last surviving member of the Ninja Turtles is... <laughs> Clark, can you get the feedback up? It's literally your one job, dude. Do we have anyone else on the scene? All right, we're gonna return to our regularly scheduled programming, Samurai Pizza Cats or whatever the heck it is. <laughs> <laughs>